This is Tech Gears, my name is Levi, and today I'm excited to bring you just an initial first look and in packing into, I guess, what could be my grail, my unicorn, the bag that, you know, I wish all these certain things and that one bag had for me personally, and that is the Evergoods Phoenix Rising or Phoenix Version 2. So happy with this bag. I just did a review on version one if you wanted to check it out on this channel. Uh, some of the things that make this bag so unique are, at least in all the bags out there, is one, it has two stretch water bottle pockets that actually hold quite a bit. And unlike a lot of bags, if you can tell the shape of this bag, it actually is wider at the top than it is at the bottom. So it kind of comes in. But what that means is when you put stuff here on the bottom, it actually allows space for the water bottle without impeding on the interior space. So a lot of bags now, if you do have water bottle pockets, it's kind of one or the other. It's gonna take up space and push in. This I found I was able to use both my uh, 18 ounce and 32 ounce water bottles on either side without inhibiting any space on the inside. And compare this to the CPL 28 liter, and I'll do a full comparison hopefully soon, that I had to put my water bottles on the inside. That alone honestly makes up pretty darn close to that extra two liters that you're missing out. Uh, another nice thing about this compared to many other bags in the market, one, most bags are gonna have your kind of front access, where you have this long, flat, on Rook it has it at the top, you kind of have a front one, and many other bags you have either a side or front, but you have a nice access here, and I'm gonna do a loadout here in a second. Some bags do, some bags don't, have what we call a quick access pocket, and I think Evergoods is probably one of the best out there, is having this nice yoke system right at top with an awesome quick access. And then finally, what makes this so unique is what I really love is this kind of has a dual quick access with a zipper right on top here. Now, what some people haven't regarded is this seems kind of short and my whole hand almost comes in here, but it also has a lot of upper volume. So if you're able to get something in here, it kind of takes up both the top and the bottom. Now, what I usually do for a lot of my bags is I use this top front pocket that a lot of bags have as one of my quick access points. So for me, I feel like I really do have one, two, three, maybe four zippers I can get to whatever I need really quickly. I love that. I remember if you guys saw, I had a Kaiden bullet and that one had, I think, four or five quick access points. And I realized I, I only really need probably those three where it comes really handy, where I can get what I want very quickly without going into the bag. Now, the other thing that makes this bag so unique and I loved about the Kaiden series from GoRock, I love about uh, the Able Carry Go Max is using that VX material that this is something, no matter where you are in the world, it's super protective of pretty much all weather conditions. Some people don't like it, put it by the mic here, because it is a little bit crinkly. I'm used to it, I enjoy it, and that's all personal. You may like having you know, a duck canvas, you may like having a 1000D Kodura, you may like a leather bag, whatever you prefer. Obviously there's personal preference. I love the functionality of having something I know is, for the most part, waterproof you know obviously it's not full submersion uh, something i didn't enjoy but i wish it had on like the alpha 19ers even though they have vx they don't use aqua guard zips this has full aqua guard zips all the way around i really feel like my laptop my ipads everything is fully protected my camera kit and the last thing that makes this special is depending what i'm doing for the day i usually have to carry one or two laptops Funny enough, sometimes even three laptops or also an iPad. So it's a lot of space you're taking up of just these large, big devices. And the laptop sleeve in the back here has one, a dedicated laptop sleeve, but two, it also has a giant area behind it. So this easily takes two laptops, maybe one per perfectly protected, the other one 
not quite, but still very good. And the inside does have a full sleeve that you can put literally a third laptop or an iPad to. Now, I'm gonna open this up real quick so you guys can take a look. Has your traditional bright orange interior and everything here. Now, one thing that makes this special, and I already covered it up, this does have a Molly here, and I was able to put on the Molly this organizer panel from Alpha One Niner. Um, I can show you guys how to do that maybe in a quick access, but in my, in the sleeve here, I just have a journal. I'll put that back in. And on the back of that Molly, is a sleeve where you can put specifically a cap one or pretty much anything pretty small. And I'll show you guys my loadout here in a second, as well as there's room underneath that Frank and the Curiology community found out that you can actually put a lot of things underneath here. So if you have a laptop or something you want to slide under, that also works. So the functionality of this, where the pockets are, the materials it uses with the weather protection and the size all make this really love this bag. Uh, the CTB 35, which I did one of my first videos on, it was a full travel bag. And I could use that for a, an everyday carry, but it was kind of large. I mean, it really is. This takes that down to a 26 liters that carries quite a bit of stuff. Uh, as far as your frame, hopefully, at least for men, you wanna have kind of a bigger shoulders and have a V shape, you know, a smaller waist. Ideally, that's what we're all trying for, at least myself. So this having that wider shoulders up top and then trimming down, I feel just fits really nicely on the body. Now, some things you wanna be aware of that a lot of people are having some issues with potentially are, and I'll zip this down. Right in the middle on both sides, on pretty much everyone, it, they're having issues where that zipper is not quite as smooth. Now that is happening because of the interior kind of gets caught there a little bit. But what I really love about that, it makes a really nice natural point to open this down. So I actually really like that. Now it could be a fault because it's not as smooth to open, but I kind of don't want it to be. I like that once you get here, it kind of locks in place. You simply have to hold it and then keep pulling down. So for me, you can look at that as a negative depending how you open your carry and you want that just wide open easy use. For me, I I'm okay with that. Uh, second issues that people have with the back panel here, how it's made and how they do this, and I'll get another shot, kind of a B-roll of me holding, carrying it is very specific as far as how they want it sitting on your back. And I look at this as kind of how car seats have their headrests. Uh, they want you to be sitting kind of perfectly upright, having really good posture, because if you're sitting forward in your car, you don't get that headrest right back there. And some cars are more comfortable than others depending on your shape because of the headrest and how different manufacturers make their car seat. This does the same thing. This has a natural kind of bow to it and if this is rubbing in your lower back, I think it has more to do with a person's posture and their posterior chain than it does the bag itself. Now, what Evergoods has done, uh, maybe to a fault, is they've made that kind of rigid, so it's not nearly as soft as other bags, so it is less forgiving. Now, you can take that as a point to work on your posture, or you can just be like, hey, this is just not comfortable, it's not for me. Even if the bag is great, if it's not comfortable for you personally, then it's not for you. Or if there's something that annoy you, some people find that these straps are a little crunchy. It's not really that bad, and it could be each individual pair. Maybe it's worse on others. For me, I found it fine. I loaded mine up, again, with two laptops, dual camera gear, extra pair of clothes, everything in it. It's probably weighing closer to 30 pounds, and I found it perfectly comfortable. Now, that has to do with maybe my shoulders and my build, or how this sits yoked on me, but I have really enjoyed it. This might be my one bag. I do have the Alpha 19 Cobra that's been used quite a bit, and I'll do a comparison on how I feel about the, those. And I will compare this as well to the CPL 28 and CTB 35 to give you guys some idea where those comparisons, which one is better for you. But overall, as an everyday carry, as a, a smaller, but probably pretty solid weekend travel option, this bag has been 
absolutely awesome. Uh, let me do a quick loadout, and uh, after that, you guys let me know what you want to see. This is Levi Tech Gears. I'll come with you later.